Hi there, welcome back to my channel. Today I will be showing you how to automate customized email replies based on user choices. This means that the user will get a different email reply based on what he selects in the Google form. So let's get started. To start, you'll need to obtain our template. You can find the link to it in the description below. Alright, let's hit the make a copy button here. Okay now, let's wait for the template to load. Now, the yellow cells are for you to fill up. First up, we need to get the file ID of the Google Form Responses. Let's open the Google Form Responses. There are no responses yet. Let's copy this part of the URL address. And paste the URL here like this. Next, we need to put down the column letter where email addresses are stored. We also need to get the column letter for the names as well as the user choices. OK now, we need to paste the first choice from the Google form. So we will go back to the Google form and copy the first choice for this question. We will do the same for the second choice. Here, you can customize the email that will be sent if the user chooses the first choice. Please leave the guest name placeholder as this will be replaced by actual names later on. If you have more choices you can put them in the columns here. Alright, next step, we need to set up this script. Let's press extensions and then press app script. You will see this. OK, now press the triggers button on the left. and then press Add Trigger. Select Time Driven. And here, choose Minutes Timer. Choose 5 minutes for the interval. Don't forget to press Save. As it's your first time running this, Google will ask you to grant some permissions. Select your Google account. Next, click on Advanced. Then click this link here. Finally, hit Allow. Done. If you can see this, it means you are good to go. We can now close this tab and head back to the settings sheet. By the way, this number keeps track of the last row of the Google Form responses in which an email is sent. This is to prevent sending multiple emails to the same user. Take note that this number will be 1 if there are no responses in the Google Form sheet. OK now let's go the Google Form to test it. We will fill out a form to attend this wedding. So the form response has been received in our form responses sheet. Let's check out our inbox. Yes, we have received a confirmation email. Yes, as you can see the email is correct and has the actual guest's name in it. Let's head back to the Google form and fill out another form. This time, we can't make it to the wedding. The response has been received as shown here. After 5 minutes, let's go back to our inbox. And yes, the email has arrived. As you can see the email is also customized. And there you have it. Now you can send customized emails based on what your users select in your Google form. Thanks for watching. If you found value, please like, share, and subscribe for more tips. See you next time.